Thank you for joining us. I'm Ava Van Valen. And I'm Channing Frampton. As those cases go up, districts are making big decisions about what the school year will look like for their students. And now at five, Leon County Schools requires students in grades K through eight to wear masks at the start of the school year. ABC 27's Micah Cho following this decision tonight. Micah, how long will the mandate be in place? Well, Superintendent Rocky Hanna says this is only going to be a temporary thing and they hope to reevaluate it by Labor Day. Now, this indoor mask policy will be in effect in class, so no mask for things like recess or athletics. There are ex exceptions to this policy. Students can opt out of the mask mandate due to medical reasons, physical or mental. This requires a waiver that must be signed up by a doctor. Hanna says the mandate decision was made with guidance from local health leaders. Dr. Truman, put it very bluntly, he said, Rocky, I think the prudent thing to do, especially for children who are most vulnerable and those are the ones who do not yet have an opportunity to become vaccinated, would be to start the school year off with a mask requirement. He said, I absolutely, wholeheartedly think that's the right thing to do. And why would you not err on the side of caution? LCS will also enforce a three foot social distancing rule inside of schools, something that is being made more challenging with more people returning into in person learning. So for Micah, parents, for the for those who don't agree with this mandate, they now have more options for their children's education. The State Board of Education Channing approved vouchers for families who want to send their kids to private school in Tallahassee. Micah Cho for ABC 27.